Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, and you, teacher? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Are you ready for the English class? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Always ready. <laughs> good, good. That's nice. Welcome then. Thank you. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are Hello, you today? Everyone. I'm fine, and you? Very well. Here, enjoying the weather that is windy. That's good. Ah, uh, yes. Here, too. Yeah. So windy. It's kind of strange, right? But it's nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the English class. Are you ready for rock and roll? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Let's begin. Yes, why not? Good. Hey, nice. Gonna wait just one more minute. Okay. we're going to start so welcome to the English class everybody how was your weekend was it good more or less it was good nice nice a little bit very well good very nice okay and uh, how is the platform going uh, are you working on that yes Yes, teacher. I've been working a little okay. bit. Nice. Let's continue with the platform. And also, it's very important if you need information, if you need to understand anything, you can text me. And of course, it will be a pleasure to help you out. And also, if you have issues with the platform or with the content or anything else, just type me there in the chat or directly, and it will be a pleasure. Okay. 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 Thank you. It's a pleasure. So, um, what do you remember about our last class? Our last class, the past sentence. Simple past Simple tense. Past. <laughs> Good. Yes. And also we were um, talking about irregular verbs, right? Yes. Did yes. you study the verbs? Yes. Uh, are you able to remember the verbs? <laughs> Okay, so today we're going to continue. Uh, let me just check. Okay, we're going to continue with our topic. That it was simply past tense. And uh, well, probably we're going to check something in the platform just to see if everything is going well. So here we go. Okay, so this is the 2.4 knowledge check. Um, it says complete this conversation. Questions and answers must be in simple past. And there are some um, exercises. Uh, do you remember what is to stay? Stay. 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 <clears throat> the meaning. Yeah, Quedarse. the meaning, the usage. Uh -huh. Quedarse. Quedarse or estar. Yeah. What will be, what will be the opposite of stay? 
Let, live let, or leave. go. Leave. Could be go. Probably it's better leave. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, have you finished this exercise already? Yes. Okay. Any questions about this one? No, teacher. Very well. Mm. Okay, I believe everything is like clear. You know what is noise, right? Noise. Noise. Okay. Good. And let's see. I guess we don't have any other new word, new vocabulary. What is to be sick? Enfermo. 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 Yeah. This day that is very windy, please. Be careful and not get sick. Okay, then uh, we have the two point four uh, that is last and I just in person we listen to a conversation in the past simple pay attention for details and pronunciation. So this was just a conversation for the simple past. And then we have the uh, listening exercise. Um, have you finished this already? Everything is fine with this? Questions about yes. this exercise? No. no questions. Perfect. So that was just a review and then we're going to continue with our class. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So since we just finished the uh, simple pass we're going to just check an exercise to remember what we have learned okay so uh, together we're going to finish this one we haven't finished this uh, before i guess right so uh, this is an example for example in the first one it says help and i with the check is uh, affirmative and with the x is negative okay so uh, in the first one it says I helped my mother. I didn't help my sister. Then the second one it says wash and he. How is it going to be? The affirmative. He washed. He he washed the clothes. He washed wash the clothes. Uh, he washed the clothes. Wash. He washed. Very he good. didn't wash the clothes. Very the, good. He did wash the car. Nice. So remember that the ED is going to be in the affirmative only, and in the negative is going to be didn't. And remember the pronunciation. Didn't. Okay. Didn't. Okay. What happens if I tell you uh, that the affirmative uh, should be transforming into uh, a question? How is it going to be? The position of subject and the verb. Change. Okay. And how is it going to be? Uh, let's say the example. With his sample. He. Okay. He. Uh, he he wash the clouds. Let's transform that into ne uh, into a question. Did he wash the clouds? Very Did good. He. Did he wash the clouds? Nice. Did he wash? The other one, it says, study and my sister. So how is going to be the affirmative? My sister is studying. Chemistry. Study. Study. study, yeah. Study. My sister study. studied chemistry. Uh, do you know what is chemistry? Chemical. Chemical. Very good. Chemical. Nice. How is going to be the negative? Mm, she, didn't she didn't study, study history. history. Very good. She, she didn't, didn't study history. Didn't. Perfect. The other okay. one says visit. So how is going to be the affirmative? You visited your you friends. Visited. You visited your friends. Nine. You visited your friends. And the uh, negative? You didn't you visit you know your friends. You didn't your family very good you didn't visit your family 
Okay, the next one says arrive and the train. So who is gonna be the affirmative? The train, the train, the train arrived, arrived at 10 past, at ten past, past six. six. Perfect, the train arrived at 10 past six. And the negative? Y no atrás a six o'clock. I didn't, it didn't arrive. arrive at six o'clock. It didn't o'clock. arrive. Exactly. It didn't arrive at six o'clock. Didn't. didn't. Nice. Didn't. The other one is says play and we. So how's it going to be the affirmative? We played, we played football. football. Played. Very good. We played, played football. And the negative? We, we didn't play, play golf. We didn't. We didn't, we we didn't, didn't play. play golf. We not. Play golf. Eh, it's not going to be not. Tendría que ser we didn't. Eh, si no le pone el did, no sería correcto. Sería we ah. didn't play golf. Okay, let's continue with the other ones. Um, okay, the first one is already done. And here, what we're going to do is uh, affirmative, negative, and question. So this one it says want you. So how is going to be the affirmative? You wanted want some, some fruit. fruit. Very good. You wanted some fruit. Want. Negative. You didn't want. You meat. didn't want meat. You didn't want meat. Good. Perfect. And the uh, question. Did, Did you, you want, fish? want fish? Did you want fish? Very good. Nice. We are doing a great job. The other one is die and the man. Do you know what is die? Yes. Morir. Yeah. Morir. Let's not do that. <laughs> okay. So how's going to be the affirmative? He died. The, the man died. The man died in 2005. 2005. Very good. The man died. You can say 2005 or you can say 2005. That's not a problem. And the negative, how's it going to be? The man, the man did, died did, in didn't winter. Die. The man didn't. The man didn't. The die man didn't in die in winter. Die in winter. And the question? Did the man die in London? Did the did man the die man? in London? Remember, in the question, the intonation is very important, right? Did the man die in London? So. Everybody understands that it's a question. The other one, it says stay. How is it going to be negative? I'm sorry, the affirmative. He stayed, he he stayed alone. alone. He stayed alone. Good. And then... Somebody is there with, uh, <laughs> with the top of it or something. Like that. Okay, uh, how is it going to be the negative? He didn't, he didn't stay, stay with me. Stayed with me. Okay, very well. And how is going to be the question? Did he stay, Did he with, he you? stay with you? Stay with you? Very well. Thank you. Did he stay with you? And uh, the next one says push. Do you know what is push, right? Push. Presionar. Mm, empujar. empujar. Yeah. Mm. So who's going to be the affirmative? She pushed the machine. She pushed the machine. Good. Pushed como te. Como te. Pushed the machine. Como te al final. Pushed the machine. And the negative? She, she didn't, didn't push, push the, the wheel. 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 Very good. So she didn't push the wheel. Do you know what is wheel? Janta. No. Uh, yeah, very good. Wheel, janta. How's going to be the question? Did, did she, she push, push the button? button? Did she okay. push the button? The pronunciation of button. that one is button. 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 Okay. Button. And the last one says tidy and they. So, um, who's going to be? Uh, do you know what is tidy? Tidy is like clean and organize everything. Uh, so 
uh, how is going to be the affirmative? They tied it, tied it. Ah, okay. Of the room, tied it. Eh, Como con IE, IE, verdad? Uh, yeah, the, remember? The, the room? That is it. So it's going to be, uh, we're going to replace the Y and then I, I, and then we're going to add ED. So it's going to be the tidied up the room. Tidied, tidied, okay. tidied, tidied up. Okay. Yeah. What's going to be the negative? They didn't tidy tid up. The they kitchen. didn't tidy up the kitchen. Very tidy good. Up. They didn't tidy up the kitchen. And the question. Did, did they tie tied up the office? Did they tidy up did the they office? Very good. Tidy. Nice. Okay, my friends, do you have any questions with this little practice? Claro como la horchata. So what we're gonna do is this. We are going to practice now. I want you to speak. So um, please, okay. I'm going to give you, let's say, five minutes so you can uh, write five questions, any verbs, everything in simple past, please. Then uh, we are going to work in pairs. We are going to ask these questions to a classmate. And uh, the third part is you are going to come uh, into the class and you are going to tell the information that you got from your classmate. Okay? Any mm. questions about the activity? <laughs> Ten questions. No, five. Gonna... Five is five. fine. Yeah. Okay. Five is okay. Five questions in the past. In simple past, please. So please write mm. five questions in simple past. I will give you five minutes. With any verb. Any verb, different verbs. Then okay. we're going to work in pair. Vamos a hacer las preguntas. Okay. Cinco minutos. Luego vamos a trabajar en parejas para preguntarle al otro y luego vamos a venir aquí al, al frente del salón a decir qué averiguaron de su compañero. Ok. okay. Si tienen preguntas, of course you can shoot. I will be here five mm -hmm. minutes. Ok, teacher, thank you. It's a pleasure.
Are you ready? Or do you need one more minute? Okay, so I'm going to create the groups. It's going to be in pairs. Uh, ask the question and write the answer and then we're going to share with all the class, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, here we go. Hola Brenda, por ahí está la invitación para que se pueda unir en el chat con Flor. Solo tiene que hacer eso.
um, what time did you get up last Sunday? Oh, Brenda or Gerardo? Repeat, please. What time did you get up last Sunday? I got get get up at 6 a.m. I got up. I got up. Okay. It is the Sería otra. Uh, did you yes? Did you listen to music? Yes, I listen to music. Okay. Did you cut your uh, your hair? Uh, cut your hair? Uh, no, I did not cook her. Mm -hmm. No, she didn't um, cut her hair. Otra? Otra, vamos a ver, permítame. Eh, I did you study English? Eh, yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Did you study English? Ah, uh, okay. Did you study English? Did you paint in your house? Uh, yes, I did clean, uh, clean house. I painted my painting. house. Painting. I painted. Okay, I did paint your house. Y la pregunta sería, did you paint sin el ID? Okay, okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, vamos a ver otro. Mm. And do you mm, dinner in the kitchen? Sorry? Uh, sería, I did you dinner? Did you cook your dinner? Quizá algo ah, así. okay. No worry, I'm going to say. Okay. Yes, I cook my dinner. Tres, cuatro, cinco. <laughs> Ah, sí, sí, solamente eran cinco. Ah, bueno, yo no escuché cuántas. Ok, so you finished already. Sí, ya. Yeah. Ok. Ya yeah, escuché. Sí, vamos a, entonces a ir saliendo y a ver qué comentamos todos. Nice. How was the experience? Uh, ¿Cómo sintieron practicando solo usted? So good. Okay. I guess we need to practice a little bit more, so we're going to do this activity. 
So what we're going to do now is to share with uh, the class what did you learn about your classmates. So you can come and say, lo pueden hacer de dos maneras, pueden decir la pregunta y la respuesta o simplemente dan la información. Whatever you want. Good. The question is, who wants to be the first? Volunteer? That's the question. Volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Alguien quiere iniciar? Me. Ok, please. Thank you. Ok. My classmate was Francisco. Ok. And I asked, asked him. Asked. Asked him the next question. Go ahead. Did you take a shower today? And the answer was yes. Okay. Yes, he took a shower three times. Good. Today. Nice. Sometimes seven times, he told me. Really? That is a lot. Eh? <laughs> Maybe because of the yes. pandemic. The second one. <laughs> the second one was, did you clean your house? The answer. No, he didn't clean his house. Okay. Because his wife do that. Okay, she does. Did that. Okay. That third, did you work yesterday? And no, he didn't work yesterday. Okay. The fourth, did you sleep well yesterday? Yes, he slept well yesterday. And the uh, last one, did you go to the church yesterday? And he said, he, yes, he went to the church. Very good. That's it. Thank you very much. Okay, who wants to be next? Nobody. Me, okay. teacher. Oh, thank you. Very well. Go ahead. Okay, my classmate was Cody. Okay. Uh, she didn't play basketball anytime. Okay. Um, she liked the Titanic movie. Oh, Titanic. Uh, she worked last year. Okay. On pandemic. <laughs> she worked. Uh -huh. uh, she didn't uh, a pet just like a turtle, but she had a cat. Okay, cats are nice. Yeah, and she didn't like soccer. Okay, very well. Thank you very much. Who wants to be the next? Bueno, ahora sí quizás escojo yo, vamos a ver. Uh, Marcela. Okay. Uh, the first one was uh, she act when she were a child. Okay. The second one uh, she brushed her teeth yesterday. Okay. The third is she didn't flunk any subject. The fourth is she harassed someone, never. Oh. And the last is she invest in crypto coin. Really? That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Thank you very much, Marcela. Very good job. Okay, let's listen to Gerardo. Hello. Hello. I worked with Brenda and, and Iris. Okay. Brenda, she did boy, did 
côté. C'est bought. Bought chicken in the supermarket. Good. It is. Uh, she didn't drink soda. Okay, good. Brenda, uh, no, she didn't drive to the office every day. She stayed in home. Okay, she stayed home, good. So I guess, uh, go ahead. So you finish? And, and it is, she didn't had a bicycle. Bicycle, okay. Only. Very well, thank you very much. The next one is going to be for Jacqueline. Eh, a mí me tocó con Brian. Ok. Go ahead. Eh, did you go to the cinema the week? Y yeah, no, I did. Went to the cinema. Wait. Ok. La otra es... What did you do yesterday? Ok. I study home today. Okay, she studied at home. Uh, do you play video game? Okay. Yes, I yes I did play video game. Good, she played. Nice. Did you hear about yesterday? No idea, just that. Okay. Solamente. Very good. Thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, let's see who else is missing. Daphne. Uh, the information I discovered about Omar okay. was uh, yesterday he, uh, he cooked meat and he was uh, watched a film uh, another questions that i asked omar was uh, did you drink a coffee this morning and she answered he answered, uh, uh, he answered no i didn't because she uh, sorry <laughs> uh, yes uh, i did Another question was, did you study English this past weekend? And her, and his answer, sorry, was no, I didn't because uh, I don't have time. I didn't have time. Okay, very well. Thank you, Daphne. Uh, who else is missing? Uh, Brian? Yes, it's to my classmate was Jacqueline and she she didn't watch television and today okay and number two she she drank water today okay the number three she cleaned the house today she and the number five uh, is she 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 worked today she worked she worked today okay okay Ryan thank you very mm -hmm. much 
Now we're going to check on uh, it is. Okay. Oh, I work with Brenda and Gerardo. Okay. Uh, Brenda, she got up 6 a.m. Sunday. Okay. The mothers Brenda wash the closet. The clothes. clothes. She did not run this morning. Gerardo, he did not dance tonight. Mm -hmm. And he did not play guitar. And only. Okay. Thank you very much. Let's check now on, uh, let's see, Beatriz. Um, Marcela didn't work much yesterday. Okay. Marcela didn't play soccer on Sunday. Okay. Marcela didn't see movies last night. Okay. Um, Marcela did study. English last week. Okay. And Marcela did cook for lunch. Okay, she cooked. Nice. It's possible to say did and the verb cook, but it's more common to say just cooked or any verb in past, in, in affirmative, I mean. Okay, let's check now on the, Omar. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Daphne start English classes in the last year on in Sapporo. Okay. Uh, she went to Plaza Mundo on Sunday and ate spring chicken on, on Pizza Hut. Okay. At Pizza Hut, I don't know. Okay. Daphne Daphne is Catholic, but she she didn't go to the church and. Uh, she saw Grey's Anatomy and Queen Gambit on Netflix yesterday at night. Very good. Nice information. Thank you, Omar. Now, uh, let's see who's missing. Brenda Sandoval. Uh, I met a cock on floor. Okay. Uh, she watching TV. Uh, she listened she listened to music uh, she did not read a book uh, she did not about superman okay. um, she she studied english study she studied english okay thank you thank you very much uh flor I worked with Brenda. She uh, she watched the last night. Um, she didn't brew the dishes. She didn't run in the morning. She didn't cut her hair. Uh, she didn't paint her house. And she spent time with her family. Very well. Thank you very much, Lord. Uh, let's see who else is missing. Brenda Cruz. My classmates are Iris and Gerardo. Okay. Uh, Gerardo didn't rest for the weekend. Iris uh, cooked on Saturday. Um, Gerardo didn't play guitar. Iris uh, didn't read the book. Gerardo watched the series yesterday and it is uh, didn't run in the morning very well thank you very much uh, i guess everybody has done that one right okay how did you feel that one i mean i i was checking that uh, i guess sometimes we have some problems in the pronunciation of uh, ed 
Um, this is just for you to practice. You can watch videos on those one and continue practicing. The practice is the most important. Uh, in grammar, you're very good, so we can continue practicing. This is going to be just the first steps for you to go through this uh, topic, but later on, of course, you are going to continue reinforcing. We're going to continue with the class, and I will show you uh, another exercise. So let's do this together. Uh, this one, how is it going to be? Eh, las primeras, la de la izquierda, que están con el verbo en azul, lo vamos a hacer en afirmativa. So, ¿cómo sería Jane and uh, the verb there? Jane watched a film. Jane Pero watched. Es, es en pasado siempre, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah. Still past. This is the last exercise in this one. Uh, the other Jane one. Jane watched. The next one is going to be. He carried a box. He carried a box. Nice. Next one. They helped their father. They helped their father. Perfect. Next one. Do you know what is to swap? Okay, to swap is to to change. For example, imagine that I don't know. Brenda uh, is going to speak in public, and she says to Corey, "Corey, can you please do it for me? I don't want to do it." And Corey says, "Okay, oh. let's swap," and you interchange. Okay, that is like a swap. So in this case, they interchange things. But you say swap, it's possible to say swap and not interchange. So it's going to be uh, that exercise. John and Amy. Uh -huh. Swap. Swapped. Swapped. Swapped, okay. Pero si ese se va a escribir con doble P y ED. That is correct. Swapped. Okay. The next one. I. I talk to Andrew. I talked to Andrew. Very good. The next one. Susan to dance with Peter. Susan uh, is going to be Susan danced. Yes. Danced with Peter. Nice. The next one. The boys tried baseball. Uh, basketball. basketball. Yeah, the boys tried. Nice. Who's going to be the next one? We planned a trip. We planned a trip. Nice. The next one. She washed her hair. She washed her hair. Nice. And the next one. The car stopped at the traffic lights. The car stopped at the traffic lights. Very good. Now, the other ones, we're going to make them in a uh, negative. So, who is going to be number one? Negative. A negative, please. Children didn't dress quickly. Didn't dress quickly. Nice. Uh, the number two? I didn't help my mother in the kitchen. Good, perfect. Number three. We didn't walk in the park. Nice, we didn't walk in the park. Number four. We did one stay close in the bathroom. We Make didn't. So it's going to be, uh, well, they didn't wash their clouds in the bathroom. Number five. We didn't watch an interesting film. We didn't watch an interesting film. Perfect. Number six. A student did work in the garden. Student didn't work in the garden. Okay. Number seven. Guna did play basketball. Guna didn't play basketball. Number eight. 
The girl didn't skip very fast. The girl didn't skip very fast. Very nice. And number nine. It didn't rain a lot. It didn't rain a lot. Very nice. Very good. Okay, uh, so this is like the exercise with the simple past tense. But we're going to move to another to another topic that is kind of similar, you know. This is the simple past tense, but the verb to be. You remember that the verb to be is kind of different, right, for what we see uh, in the other verbs. Let me just check how oh, this is not moving. So, it's very easy. Simple past tense of the verb to be is very, very easy. Affirmative, we're going to change singular, is or am, into was. So, for example, I was happy. He was hungry, she was a nurse, it was big. And uh, the plural, are, is going to change into were. We were early, you were at school, they were quiet. Okay, so it's quite simple. Do you have any questions about the affirmative? No. Okay, and the other one is the negative. Uh, it's going to be was and were, but the abbreviation, the contraction, not. So, I wasn't sad. Remember, wasn't. So, I wasn't he sad. Wasn't. He wasn't thirsty. She wasn't a teacher. It wasn't small. And for the plural, it's going to be weren't. We weren't late. You weren't at home. <clears throat> They weren't noisy. And it's possible actually to use uh, was not or were not if you want. But of course, the most common is uh, the contraction. That is definitely the most common thing. Any question with the negative? Mm, any. Okay, for the questions, it's going to be also very, very easy. So we are going to change the verb is going to be before the subject. This is exactly the same as uh, the present, right? So the affirmative, for example, here says they were happy. If you want to transform that into a question, we're going to say, were they happy? Okay. Also remember the intonation of the question is very important. Were they happy? And we have short answers. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. The same happens with uh, the singular one. She was rich. Was she rich? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we have the wh questions that you are going to have before where for example where was she a sick mm -hmm. or why were you tired so we're going to just add the wh word before the verb to be and uh, remember that the answer for that one is going to be information so this is information question so for example like when you say why was she angry or ah he angry you can say ah he was angry because uh, he, he didn't, eat. didn't eat that is good uh was uh or we can say when was she nervous yesterday she was nervous yesterday where were you yesterday i was at home who were those people all those were uh, those were my friends so, information in general, right? Okay, okay, so my friends, do you have any question with the verb to be in simple past tense? No. Piece of cake. Do you know what is piece of cake? Como cuando decimos no, fácil. No, cuando quieren decir que es súper fácil, ¿verdad? Cuando, cuando dicen en el salvadoreño, está chiche. This is piece of cake. Piece of piece cake. Piece is como pieza de pastel. Okay. Uh -huh. 
En inglés la, la frase es así, piece of cake. That is so easy. Ok. <laughs> so, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that is a good one. So it's piece of cake. Tomorrow we are going to start practicing the verb to be in past. Ok. If you have questions, okay. of course, you can chat with me directly or we can chat in the group. And uh, before we finish, do you have any questions regarding the platform or the class for today? Yes, what, uh, what happened with the homework? I'm sorry, what happened with? Homework for la tarea. Yeah, did you do, do that you one? remember? I remember, yeah. <laughs> That was in simple past, right? So, yes. did you do that? Yes. Yes. ¿Será que, será que todos, yes. Algunos? No sé si todos, pero... Bueno, la revisión la podemos hacer de dos maneras. No sé cómo lo quieren hacer ustedes. Okay. Eh, a mí me gustaría que fuera leído, que vengan y me cuenten, y así pues practicamos de una vez hablar. O me lo pueden enviar al chat y yo también lo puedo revisar la escritura. Aunque pues creería yo que es mejor hablar. Pero pues ustedes saben que es lo mejor. What will be better for you? Hablar. I prefer speak. Ok. So what we are going to do is we are going to start with that tomorrow. Esa va a ser la primera actividad de mañana. Si alguien no la ha hecho, eh, recuerde. Tiene tiempo. Tiene y me puede preguntar también ahí en el chat. Okay. okay, como se dice algo, como pongo algo. Anything that you can ask is going to be there, okay? Okay, okay. thank you. Teacher. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you today. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank okay. you, good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.